What's up, everybody? It's that time again. Time for the prime time prop drop right here at Picks and Parlays. I'm your host, Allie Burns. You can find me at Plus Money Honey. And as usual, I've got Scott Reichel. Find him at Reichel Radio. You were 4 and 0 oh on Monday Night Football with our prime time prop drop. Good job, friend. How are you feeling about the Thursday night game? Yeah, it's feeling pretty good. Uh, definitely nice to come off a sweep, especially when the game was hideous like we expected it, but we made money on it. So it'll at least, you know, we got to uh, deal with the pain with dollar bills, which is definitely a good way to handle it. But hopefully we keep it rolling here on Thursday. This game, fingers crossed, should be more entertaining than the last couple of Thursday night games. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, I agree. I mean, like on paper, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this one. Colts, Broncos, maybe not so much. Bears and whoever they play, the Commanders, not so much. But um, yeah. Let's do it, Saints and the Cardinals. Before we get started, though, I do need everyone to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, all those things. That's what keep that's what's keeping our free content coming your way. And also, don't forget about my sponsor, FanDuel. FanDuel, the home of the no sweat first bet, up to a thousand bucks for all new accounts. All you got to do is use the promo in the description of this video. Find the link and click on it. And by the way, if you're in the state of Ohio, they're going to drop a hundred bucks in into your account just for downloading FanDuel, even though you don't go live until January. Okay, so let's get this party started. Like I said, we've got Saints at the Cardinals. Cards are minus two and a half. The total on this one is a 44, but we're not looking at sides. We're not looking at totals. We're looking at props. What do you got for me, Scott? So first one, going to go to the quarterback here. We're actually going to take the same player with two separate props. Going to take Kyler Murray, and I'm going to take him over 245 and a half passing yards at around minus 115. Marcus Lattimore, who is the Saints' best corner, is still out for this game, and the defense has been really bad without him. Plus, DeAndre Hopkins is back for Arizona. I know Arizona did lose Hollywood Brown. They traded for Robbie Anderson, but Hopkins is their best receiver, so hopefully he'll be able to help them uh, go over this passing yards total. But the Saints have allowed at least 268 passing yards in each of their last three games. And Murray has attempted a bunch of passes. Murray has attempted at least 32 passes in every game this season. I like the volume. I hate the same secondary. Give me the over for passing yards. All right. You shall have it. One down, one to go. So over 245 passing yards and then over one and a half passing touchdowns. Yeah, I like the plus money here. At, or the even money here. I just think that the price is too short. The Saints have allowed three uh, passing touchdowns in each of the last two games. Hopkins is back once again. Lattimore's out, so I do like the matchups that the receivers have. I know Arizona was awful offensively against Seattle last week. Division game on the road. I think at home they bounce back here. It's really just fading the Saints at this point. I watched their secondary play against Geno Smith and against Burrow last week. It's awful. It's really, really bad. I think that for even money for Kyler, who we know is going to run around, he'll be able to move the ball against the Saints defense, or he should at least. I think it's a good. I think it's a good value play. I like it, especially even money. I think it should be closer to around minus one twenty. All right, so beautiful little extra plus money for you, honeys. All right, talk to me about Alvin Kamara. So I'm going to go with Alvin Kamara over four and a half receptions. Going to go to plus money here at plus one twenty five. Uh, he's been an absolute machine. Uh, with the passing game for the last couple of games. Uh, Kamara has recorded at least six receptions in each of the last two games, and he's been targeted at least six times in each of the last three games. So the Saints have been really injured at the receiver position. They are getting Olave back, but Michael Thomas is out and Jarvis Landry is out. So they are missing a couple wide receivers, but Kamara has gotten the ball fed to him a lot, and I'm not sure he's going to play quarterback for the Saints in this game. Probably Dalton might be Winston. They're both battling their own injuries, and I do think Arizona's defense is a bit underrated. I like the idea of the Saints potentially playing catch-up in the second half and throwing a bunch of checkdowns to Kamara. But for a guy who's had six receptions in each of the last two games, four and a half at plus 125 seems like a lot of value to me. I'm going to take him to have at least five receptions. Yeah, I was doing numbers on this game last night, and the, the Cardinals really did have a better defense than I thought they did. Once I kind yeah. of saw everything written out on paper, I was kind of impressed. They also have a, a much more difficult strength of schedule mm. than the uh, Saints do as well, just to throw they played that the out. Chiefs, they played the Chiefs in week one. They gave up 40-something points, and people thought from that point forward the defense is awful. But it's actually been pretty good the last couple of weeks. The problem is the offense hasn't been very good. Yeah, that's part of it too. Um, but, yeah, they played the Rams. They played Chiefs. They played um, – 
it's it's on my board right there, but it's just hidden. But nonetheless, yes, much more difficult strength up schedule. Um, okay, so last prop, we're going with a kicker prop. You told me earlier these uh, field goal props have been good to you. What are we going with here? Yep. So we're going to go with the Saints kicker, Will Lutz. We're going to take him over one and a half field goals at minus 105. I really have no idea why this is mono, why this is minus 105, but I'm just going to say thank you and take it. Uh, Arizona has allowed at least two field goals in four of its first six games. And Lutz got off to a bit of a slow start uh, with regard to his accuracy. However, last week against the Bengals, he did go four for four. So he got a lot of volume. And if you look at his actual distance on some of the kicks this season, he has made a kick from 60. It's in a dome. So the Saints will send him out there from really long distances. If it's going to be fourth and five in a 58-yard field goal attempt, they're probably going to kick. So the fact that he's a big leg and the fact that he made four last week and the fact that the Cardinals have given up a lot of field goal attempts, I think means that this is drastically mispriced. I think it should be closer to minus 120, minus 125, but I'll gladly take it because he had four last week and minus 105 does seem pretty generous in a dome. Yeah, there you have it. All right, let's with the big leg over one and a half field goals. Beautiful. Scott Reichel, tell the people who you are and where they can find you. So you can find me on Twitter at Reichel Radio, uh, doing my YouTube free picks every night on Winners and Winers. Besides that, I am doing the this show, of course, with you. Also crashing the Morningwood show every Friday. Also doing uh, Total Chaos. Ended up going three and two on the NBA yesterday, which was nice. I still lost, but I went three and two, so I'll take that. Aww. So besides that, though, you can find a lot of my podcasts and everything that I'm doing on my Twitter. So follow me there, and you can get all my content. Beautiful. Just making a little banner. Yes, find Scott on the Morning Wood Show. It's the show that I host Monday through Friday, but every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Scott Reichel is our special guest. You can get lots more of his free picks there. Um, like I said, primetime prop drop, guys. Good luck to everyone.